Hello, welcome to the Chemistry Made Simple podcast. I'm your host, Matthew Macario, and today we're going to be doing a short episode to talk about the standard enthalpy change of combustion. What does it mean and how do we use it? So let's start with the definition. The definition is that the standard molar enthalpy change of combustion is the enthalpy change when one mole of substance is completely burnt in oxygen. And that is at standard conditions. And standard conditions, as we've mentioned before, is pressure of 100 kilopascals and temperature of 298 Kelvin. Let's look at it a little bit closer. So the amount of energy refers to one mole of the substance being combusted. The substance we're trying to find the energy change for when it burns in sufficient oxygen. The definition also talks about complete combustion in oxygen. And that means there has to be sufficient oxygen for complete combustion. The symbol for the standard enthalpy change of combustion is a delta HC. And you'll often see a circle or plimsoll line as a superscript immediately after the capital H. You're going to come across the enthalpy of combustion regularly. It's one of the favourite measurements to compare your experimental data in in the college lab. And also, we would use it in exam questions, assignment questions, and so on. It's very useful for when we need to find an alternative pathway to calculate the enthalpy change of a reaction if we can't measure it directly. And I've already got an episode explaining how we do that. And that episode is how to use the enthalpy changes of formation and the enthalpy change of combustion. I'll put a link in the notes as well. Okay, and we're keeping this one very short and sweet and snappy, trying to keep these definitions of terms separate from each other so that you can just come and listen to the one and not get confused by listening to all the definitions all in one go. If you've got any questions about what we've talked about today, then please do come over to the Patreon community at patreon.com slash chemistry made simple and ask the questions there. That's where I'll be answering those. It'd be great to see you there. Thank you for listening to this episode. I hope you found it useful. And if you have had value from it, do consider visiting our Patreon community at patreon.com slash chemistry made simple, where you'll be able to ask deeper questions about this topic and get more support for your studies too. So I look forward to speaking to you again in the next episode. And until then, do look after yourself and goodbye.